This presidential suite room in Tokyo is big enough for me to jog inside. Unbox the strings by Intercontinental Hotel. Reveal the full club lounge report. Is it close to public transportation? How about the breakfast buffet? Hi, I'm Tree Papa, a travel enthusiast and proud father of three. Discover family friendly spots and tips of making the most of your travels. Join me, let's explore together. We are in a Tokyo taxi, heading to Hotel The Strings by Intercontinental Tokyo. Before we reveal the full details, I'll let you know where we stayed in Tokyo earlier. Previously, we chose Hotel A and A Intercontinental Tokyo in Akasaka and experienced the largest IHG club lounge facilities in Tokyo. Unboxed 2024 newly renovated room with an iconic Tokyo Tower view. For full details, check the link below. Back to the Strings Intercontinental Hotel, which is connected to Shinagawa train station. However, we had too much luggage, so moving by taxi was easier. We arrived at the taxi drop-off on the first floor. Unfortunately, there was no hotel staff standing by. Luckily, it wasn't difficult to carry our luggage to the reception on the 26th floor through the direct elevator. Upon arriving, the hotel staff proactively showed up, helped collect the luggage, and led us to the club lounge for the check-in process. However, I'd love to look around first. There's an automatic currency exchange machine and a computer with a printer for your travel needs. Here we are. Now let's find out the Club Intercontinental Lounge here. It's located at the corner with the best view of the hotel. With the welcome champagne provided, the lounge staff presented the complete guidance of the club lounge opening hours and ambassador benefits, including 2,000 yen in-room dining credit. For hotel guests, we may enter this door with a key card. The lift has a transparent design with a great hotel view. It's hard to believe we are above the 26th floor here. Now let's head to our room. It's at the other corner of this building. Room number 32, 19 today. This is the highest category in this hotel with 104 square meters. Let's check it out. So today I'm going to unbox the best room in the string, the Continental. 32, 19, the suite. Let's go. This room is so massive. Let's take a look. Oh, I can even jog in the room. Come on. Wow, you see this view. Fantastic. Oh, I just need to jog inside this room. Brilliant. Welcome to the personal suite of Intercontinental Hotel, the stream. I will provide you the complete room tour. Firstly, you will find out this amazing view in the main living area, including a dining table right there. See, wow. So you can have actually the in-room dining directly at your suite, including eight chairs. You can have a small party right here. And over there, they got a small kind of a pantry. So the, your mini bar is right here. You got all the drinks inside this fridge. However, it's all charged. All right. A coffee machine with a Nespresso with some capsules. And here got some areas, uh, storage areas. If you want to do long stay here, this is kind of a small kitchen for usage. Right, and the best part of this hotel is about the Tokyo skyline. So you can see the very wide view, and this is actually the the main business area. So during the evening, they will get very good night view for you. Over there, you can see the train station. So all the train were running there. If you come with the kids, that'll be fantastic for them to enjoy the train view. So. For some decorations, they put this chest right here. I don't know how to play, but this kind of decoration. And right this corner is the living room. Of course, the most important part is the view right there. Fantastic. All right, let's check out the living area. 
So this is the main bedroom. There's only one bedroom in this uh, room. They use a Sony TV and also the Bose speakers. This curtain and window shade is actually automatic. You can control through, through the remote. And this is, I think it's super king size space, very wide. All right, and in the wardrobe, you've got the best rope, iron board and iron, slippers inside, quite the standard amenities. For shoe bags, and this is the best ropes. Ooh, what's this? This is kind of a kimono here, but I think it's only suitable to wear in the room. Or a sleeping kimono. Laundry bag and laundry service if you need. Alright, the safe here. Let's see what's inside. Nothing inside. And another amazing part is about their restroom. Look at this restroom with the view. Wow. So you can enjoy the best top here with amazing train station view. All right. I believe even you open the window like this, nobody can see you unless they are using a telescope. Who will do that? And amenities they are using burritos. I think it's kind of a standard in intercontinental hotels nowadays. And I like the suite room mostly because they got two table sinks. So there's no argument with your partner or your, your loved ones to use the toilet. Okay, the amenities I think they are inside this box. Alright. So it's kind of standard amenity with calm dental kit, shaver, and some other standard things in Intercontinental Hotel. Here you got a toilet. So it's a total washlet, but it's not automatic. So but it's okay, good enough. Right, so we will go to the cup lounge and later we'll check it out. Let's go. In the customer toilet, it's simple but also equipped with bi-radio hand soap and a washlet. There's another storage area that can fit in luggage and coats. With the automatic curtain, it's really premium to have such a great Tokyo skyline view once in a lifetime before we unbox the full services of the club lounge. I hope you've been inspired by my hard-working videos. Your like and subscribe to encourage me to provide more quality contents in the future. Club Intercontinental Afternoon. Tea time starts from 2.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Look at this comfortable spot with the best view in the lounge. Feel free to pause anytime if you'd like to see the menu. It seems we are so close to the flight. Here comes the beautifully presented afternoon tea set. It looks great, but the taste didn't follow. However, with such a view, it's still premium enough. Or you may also consider the small buffet on the table. In my personal opinion, there are many better dessert options in Tokyo City. Now we will go to the city center. I saw the reviews saying the location of the hotel is very good. Let me give it a try. Remember to turn left once you leave the exit door on the second floor. It only takes two minutes to walk from the hotel. However, the train station is really big. It may take another eight minutes to reach your train or metro, especially Shinagawa station it is always crowded. We visited the famous Sensoji Temple, got an Omamori, and wished for good luck in 2024. After taking the train back to Shinagawa Station, we can spot the hotel is located there of this 32 level height building. By the way, there is a cafe and 7 Eleven downstairs. Quite convenient if you want to grab a bite. Happy hour here starts from 5.30 p.m. till 7.30 p.m. We arrived a bit late and it was getting dark in the lobby, but it still felt like a premium bar vibe. 
The lounge night view was amazing as well. Happy Hour offers alcoholic drinks and hot canapes that can be ordered from the staff only. Feel free to pause the menu anytime. Canapes all come from hotel restaurants with high quality and good taste but super small portions. However, plus the cold buffet, it's actually good enough to make me full tonight. I personally recommend that you shouldn't miss the sake tour here with three different flavors and you will find out what kind of sake is suitable for you. While we headed back to my room, turn down service was provided with room cleanliness, put pajamas on the bed with two pieces of chocolate and a weather forecast card. It's quite important for travelers. Let me give a try to Japanese pajamas and get ready to sleep. See you tomorrow. Good morning, The Strings by Intercontinental Tokyo. This million dollar view is just right next to my extra large king size bed. I highly appreciated such premium setup. Look at Shinagawa station below. It's a huge train station with multiple lines integrated here. Before unboxing the club lounge breakfast, I'd like to take a look at the gym located on the 27th floor. It won't be hard to navigate and it's just near the elevators. It doesn't look big and is crowded most of the time. Here are a short video clips for your reference. Now let's head to the lounge for the breakfast. If you have lounge access, you may have breakfast in the lounge or in the buffet restaurant. I prefer to have it in the lounge because they have secret food the buffet doesn't offer and a much better service level. I will show you later. Every time I enter the lounge, I am attracted by this amazing view. It does make me feel a bit premium, even though I only stayed here for two nights. All right, the breakfast offers different sets or you can order sides to complete the full breakfast. Feel free to pause any time for the menu. Eggs Benedict come in a double portion. Healthy gourmet set for me and Japanese breakfast for Tree Mama. Highly recommend the Japanese set. This broiled rosy sea bass is recommended by the staff. It is so fresh and tasty. We also tried Japanese omelette and morning boost set with good tastes. There's also a small buffet area that can definitely make you full. To be frank, the breakfast offerings did a great job. Most of the food I may find in restaurant buffets. The personalized table services and a bit more tasty options do make lounge breakfast with a lot more privileges. Tomorrow I will unbox the restaurant buffet for you. Today, let us travel around Tokyo's iconic spots. Took videos of trains for the little ones. Visited the latest luxurious shopping mall, Ginza 6. Enjoyed the best tonkatsu, which is Japanese fried pork cutlet in town. Their rice is also the best I had during my Tokyo trip. Shouldn't miss the iconic Tokyo Tower adventures. Freshly fried seafood tempura is a must try. And there's too much delicious seafood and grilled food at Tsukiji Fish Market. After having all the good food, I must reserve some space for a five-star hotel breakfast buffet on the 26th floor. This indoor high ceiling with natural light design is truly amazing. Let me find a seat either in the open space or a semi-private suite. It's totally up to your request. Now, are you ready for the buffet tour? Hot dishes include both international and Japanese local styles. Wide selections of pastries and cereals. Cold options like yogurt, salads and cheeses, especially blue cheese, which is my favorite, along with drinks and juices. More cold selections 
like freshly cut fruits. Ham and smoked salmon. You can also find Japanese style breakfast with several hot options to complete your food journey. And good choices of egg selections here. In general, the restaurant offers complete options, but the club lounge has some more premium menus which are not served in the buffet. Highly recommend enjoying breakfast in the lounge if you have access. Walk around the lobby can find a peaceful spot and enjoy the me time. So in summary, we stay in the best room in the streets of Intercontinental Hotel in Tokyo. It's very lucky and we are very happy, very appreciated to the hotel staff. Overall, this room is very, very big. So we can jump inside, we can walk inside, we open all four luggages at the same time. It's a very, very good place. Especially they got one, two, three, four, five, six, they got probably eight windows in the living area. So this is the most amazing experience we ever had in the hotel before. This time we also tried the Club Intercontinental Lounge for their breakfast the afternoon tea and also the happy hour. Regarding the breakfast, I recommend the Japanese set, which is the best one, especially the grilled fish. That's the most amazing part and you cannot find in the buffet. And the afternoon tea, it's probably average. If you cut time, you can enjoy it. If not, you can enjoy the Tokyo city. The last part is about the happy hour. Happy hour, the most amazing part is the sake tour. So they will prepare the sweet sake, the normal sake, and also the spicy sake. So this combination is a very good tour to enjoy the Japanese sake. So I would highly recommend if you got a chance to visit here, must book the cup room. And we find out most of the visitors are foreigners, westerns. This hotel is probably helping for the business travelers. Especially in this era, we can see like Sony or Microsoft, most of the international companies they are located here. So this is a very good place for business travel. However, from the hotel, to the train station, it looks very near. But actually the train station is very, very huge for the Sinagawa train station. So you require somewhere like 10 minutes walk from the hotel room till your train. So actually, it will be far. So I would recommend if you want to come back to the hotel, just stay in the hotel, you can enjoy the all the facilities. Hey, Trimama, what's your favorite part of this hotel? Well, um, I think it's the shower room. Because in Tokyo, normally the shower is so small that you cannot really stretch your arms in the shower room. And then this one is really big. I think I can spend a lot of time in the shower room. Thank you, Tree Mama. That's all for our hotel report. Hope you like it. We will head to Narita Airport by Narita Express train. Finished our short Tokyo trip this time. In my next video, we will fly back to Taipei on board China Airlines business class. We will visit the only Sky Team lounge in Narita Airport and experience the private business cabin on board, the A350-900, since there are no other passengers with us. How about the smoothest and top level arrival services from Huan Yu VIP? Stay tuned! Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.